17 miners are free this afternoon after being trapped hundreds of feet underground for hours in upstate New York. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana joins us now with more on the rescue. Lauren? Elliot, what started like any other day on the job for a group of miners ended with a massive rescue operation in upstate New York. Those people are back above ground after getting stuck in the deepest salt mine in the Western Hemisphere. Distant cheers greet the last of the 17 salt miners rescued Thursday morning, pulled by crane from depths hundreds of feet below the surface. Extremely relieved and happy to say they're out. Okay. All 17 miners that were stuck in the shaft in the elevator have been safely removed. Cargill Inc. mine manager Sean Wilzinski says the elevator stopped working around 10 o'clock Wednesday night and the last miner wasn't rescued until almost 10 hours later. The trapped workers were given radios, hand warmers and water while they waited for help. He says they were cold but in good spirits. They huddled together. They, they did what they could do to keep each other warm and keep each other's spirits up. It's very impressive to see how, how well they managed the situation. Wilsinski says the elevator stalled while going down to the floor of the 2,300-foot deep mine in Lansing, New York, about 40 miles outside of Syracuse. The miners were just coming on their shift when they got stuck about 900 feet underground. No one was hurt, and officials say they were in constant communication with the trapped miners. By far the most important part of this process is, is finished. All we plan on doing right now is trying to step back, regroup, make sure we have the right resources to try to understand what happened and move forward with that. We are in no hurry to move forward, you know, from an operational standpoint. The salt mine is reportedly the deepest in North America and has been in operation since 1922. Wazinski says the mine will not resume operations until all equipment is deemed 100% safe. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.